Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here at the Dubai Air Show, where our coverage is sponsored by FLIR. And we always like to find something interesting at this air show, at any air show that we're covering. And this one, we do have something very interesting with a brand new company called uh, Calidus. And the aircraft is called the B-250. And Hamdan al uh, who is uh, an engineer with the, with the company, is joining us. Sir, thanks very much. Marhaba. You're welcome. Um, so, talk to us a little bit about this airplane because, you know, it's a very, very new company. You guys are developing a counterinsurgency aircraft which is very much attuned to uh, Emirati needs. Obviously, uh, UAE forces have been engaged. Uh, they were engaged in Libya, they were engaged in the counter-ISIS fight, but also are now regularly engaged in Yemen. Talk to us a little bit about this unique partnership because anytime uh, a company partners with a Brazilian aircraft firm, there's a tendency of thinking about Embraer, but not Nova. Talk to us about how this program was born and, and this airplane and what it's going to do that no other airplane can do. B-250 is a light attack aircraft designed uh, with multi-role multi capabilities. The aircraft designed to do uh, counterinsurgency missions, CAS, close air support missions, ISR and advanced training. The unique thing about this aircraft that it was designed from day one for the missions. It is not an adaptation uh, from civil or trainer uh, aircraft. It is from the day one we took the uh, mission and it is uh, as, as our goal to, the, to build the platform to be, uh, uh, to be uh, built for this mission, these missions. The aircraft is equipped with uh, cutting edge avionics uh, with our partner Rockwell Collins, the ProLine Fusion System. Uh, also, the aircraft is fully designed with uh, carbon fiber. It is the first in its category to be uh, fully carbon fiber structure. We are partnering with uh, many companies worldwide. Calidus owns the uh, full IP rights of the aircraft. For the uh, structure of the aircraft, we uh, uh, partnership and we commissioned Nova Air to proceed with the uh, carbon fib fiber structure design. Uh, the aircraft, when we started in 2015, two years back, and by the way, it is a very big achievement to uh, start a program from scratch, to start building the aircraft from scratch and uh, fly in less than two years. So back in two years, we took the uh, conditions, the, work, the new work conditions worldwide, in the region and worldwide, the, uh, the need, uh, the asymmetric warfare and the need of high-performance platform to do the counterinsurgency and the cross air support missions while having a very low operating cost. So this is what we have, a very high performance platform with cutting edge avionics and weapon system, but also with a very low operating cost. Now, what are some uh, of the unique features that you guys have? Everybody is very proud when they design an airplane from the ground up. What are some of the particularly unique features of the aircraft that you're most proud of? And, and the category of, of, of uh, light attack aircraft. We are the only one building a, a platform from the day one for the mission. So in our, all aspects, we, uh, we, 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 we have in our mind to make it mission ready. It is our slogan, B-250 is mission ready aircraft. So it is carbon fiber uh, aircraft, fully carbon fiber, which gives it lighter weight, and high performance and maneuverability. It is 7G aircraft, and mm. yes, yes, it's 7G. It is also equipped with uh, ejection seats, uh, seven pylons, uh, and uh, plus the AOIR system. Uh, the aircraft is uh, having the uh, most cutting edge avionics system in its category from uh, Rockwell Collins. And uh, what kind of what kind of performance envelope do you have? What's your altitude? What's your range? And what's your speed? The aircraft is designed to. Uh, it is a pressurized cockpit. The aircraft is designed to uh, go to very high altitude, up to thirty thousand feet. Uh, the endurance is up. Uh, it can go up to twelve hours uh, endurance. Uh, the aircraft also have uh, more than three hundred knots maximum uh, level speed. So it is a very powerful aircraft, yeah. Uh, and, and if I look at the payload, that's quite a bit of payload. What's the rough payload capability that you guys can carry on those seven pylons? As you see, we have seven pylons. Uh, the, 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 uh, all, all the weapons under the wing, by the way, this is something I forgot to mention before, all the weapons under the wing are Emirati weapons from our partners in, uh, in UAE 
from uh, Tawazon and uh, E-Triple S. So as you see, uh, it is quite uh, heavy load and we are capable to carry it with a very good endurance. Would it be about 5,000 pounds of load, payload capability? This is something uh, I'd rather not disclose it right now, but it is a very good payload. Um, so talk to us a little bit uh, about um, where what are some of the markets? So there's the, you know, what are the numbers for the domestic uh, uh, UAE Air Force use? And how large do you think the global market is, the addressable global market that you guys are pursuing? When we started the project uh, two years uh, back, we, uh, uh, we conducted our uh, study of the market and we, uh, because we are in, in close relationship with many uh, end users and customers, so we identified the need for such a platform because the the uh, the need that uh, B250 is fulfilling it is unfulfilled before. It is needs that it is unfulfilled before. So we believe there is a huge need for such a platform and. Uh, there is uh, really a good uh, future for this aircraft. You know, I was talking to somebody here and uh, they said, you know, we should ask you about whether or not the airplane is going to be destined to operate in places like Yemen. Is this aircraft going to be debuting in Yemen uh, as part of the fight in partnership with a lot of other countries uh, in that area? In Calidus, we are a technology development company in aerospace and uh, uh, in defense. So we are the uh, developer and the manufacturer of the aircraft. This is our, our scope. And, uh, and how, talk to us about the flight test program and when it's going to go into service. What's the timeline you're looking for and how large is that first batch of aircraft? As I told you, we are pretty uh, quick and fast. We developed the program in two years uh, from the scratch until uh, the first flight. So we are, uh, we believe that it will be service. And when was the first flight? First flight was uh, July 2017. Wow, so it's, it's, it's just very recent. Talk to us about how long the period, qualification period is going to be when you're finished through development and it's, you know, it is ready to go into service and then ready to go in production and how many will be in that first batch, that launch order is how many aircraft? We are progressing very well in the uh, flight test. The aircraft uh, is, it is here today and flying because it is uh, certified to fly today. So uh, we are continuing the flight test and we are pretty sure that we will uh, finish the uh, qualification and certification very, very soon. And how many aircraft are in the first order? This is, uh, this is based on the uh, end user and uh, our customers' requirements, which is something we cannot disclose at, this, at the moment. Sir, thanks very much. Best of luck on the program. Very impressive aircraft. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shukran. Thank you. Shukran. Thank you.